because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN, and welcome to the wonderful world of auto racing, folks. Uh, these markets is like being in the Indianapolis 500 every day of the week. Last night at 1130, we were down 500 points in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We were sitting right here at 37,400 and change, down 500 points. The S&P was down 75 points. NASDAQ was down about 300. The reason why I've marked this is because it was a 382 of the low of November. Boys and girls, the close today is what's really super important. Let me go to a four-hour chart to explain to you what we talked about the last few days. Do you remember what I said when I said when you break these lows right here this is you have a little three-day rally right here did you see that I said once we break that that'll tell us that we're going to be going down to right here and I I did this in the video and I said it has a high probability of uh, being a low at this point and it does now how much higher I mean this could be uh, you know this could be taken out tomorrow's high but you know we're we still have a lot of way a long way to go but it's really important folks let me let me uh, go to another couple of charts here these are from the uh, the floor traders handbook stuff that you're interested in this happens to be the s p 500 there's the we were within 10 points of an exact standard deviation what we've done so far is we've rallied right up into this area here which was a 382 retracement, okay, and right into that old zone. Do you remember I mentioned once we went below 5060, uh, excuse me, yeah, 5060, I said this, <laughs> that we were going to go down pretty hard, and that's exactly what happened. We have a chance here for a major bottom for a couple of different reasons. Let's take a look at the other one that's important here. This is the uh, – Russell, it went um, went a little bit below it, and it's had a really strong rally. I don't know what it's doing lately, but again, that's what happened. There was one standard deviation. There was a second standard deviation. Once you go past the second standard deviation, folks, that's when the problem arises. Now, here is one that is uh, very interesting. This is the uh, NASDAQ. Now, you see, we went below the standard deviation, and all we've done today is make a 382 rally off that other high. That in itself is pretty, pretty negative, but and and we can still get, we can still get by with that without, uh, without too much trouble. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, we I, I don't want to go through the positions that we've had on or anything because that stuff is not nearly as important as the stuff that we're talking about here right now. So hold on just one second, and uh, we'll get up here. This was the one we were in. The, Let's get the, I think this was the hourly chart that we sent this out in. I hope it was. Yeah, there was your there was your hourly chart. The buy was right down here uh, last night, uh, uh, right around that same time that we were doing that around 11:30. I sent this out saying it's time to take the profits in the treasury bonds, which our profit objective was one here. You can see it's down one and a half handles. If you wanted to, you could have gone short because it's in a down market. Of course, and if you look at that going back to way back here, let's just clean this up a little bit to see if some of this stuff we talk about works. Okay, so there's your there's your low spot right here. You see that now remember this is an hourly chart, so you got three days action in here. So this must mean something, all right? So let's just draw our lines in to see where we are. Here was the first pullback, which was right here. It looks like it's right at the old uh, just about the 61% retracement. And let's just check and see if this one was exactly 382. Shut the front door and raise the rent. What's wrong with that one? Holy moly, guacamole. Folks, you could wrote a, wrote a book today about uh, three, 382s, but they don't work, so don't pay any attention to them. Not any good. Our guest today is going to be none other than the man from Naples himself, 
who wears a fedora, even though he's not Italian, Mr. Norm Winsky, will be our guest. Okay, now let's move on here to a couple other markets that are looking very interesting. Hold on one second. This is where we are here with the S&P, folks. I wanted to go through because we did the same thing with the S&P that we were doing with the Dow, and I wanted to get this up here so we can do this hourly chart, and you'll be able to see here's where we were last night. You can see here we were right at this level right here. If you measured all of these, you can see we're in a downtrend. We really haven't changed anything. You see, folks? This is still a downtrend. Even with this massive rally today, all this rally did was make a 382, okay, of that high and a 61% retracement of that high. That's all it did, right at that number of 5060. And we, we mentioned that. So now if we get below here, if we get below this level right here, this is the real key level, folks. And the reason why that is is because this is the type of day where you've had a big move down the market looks like it's going to bounce but if it doesn't you got to be really careful so the mind's telling you this if you if you close near the lower end of this uh you've got to be extremely extremely careful if you close below i'd say anything below 50 we're trading at uh 50 26 right now our low right on this last level was 50 uh, 02 so that was a real strong 61% retracement level. And if we close below that, below 6020, excuse me, 5002, I would not be long anything. Now, if you remember when I started talking about the doomsday, that wasn't doomsday, it was just charts that I was looking at. One of the things we were looking at would, of course, let's get this up here and uh, where, oh, no, 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 these doggone people did it again. Okay, just give me one second. This is important, folks, from my, my educational and I think your financial well-being. So let me get up the um, – this will only take about two seconds. There's the two seconds. Here's where we are. We, tra folks, I don't know anything about TradingView. I really don't. But I want you to notice – you see right here in the bottom right here, we took the – by 10 points – we took that out, and we had this humongous rally, okay? Now, yes, it's a humongous rally, and it's big. We've had these before. Just And this is just this could be gold or anything. You can see these markets repeat over. Let me draw that in. They repeat over and over again, no matter whether it's Bitcoin. The reason why they work, folks, is because just as many people are in there trading Bitcoin as they are doing pork – well, no more pork bellies, but uh, those are the things. So here's what's happened. We had this high on the 8th. You want to see where we were going from that high down to the low. There's your 382. Uh, stop it, Larry. Came in right here. Now we're below it. Now this is the same thing. We should have gone a whole lot higher right away, but we're going to have to wait and see. So let's pay attention to that. I think it's going to be real interesting to, in fact, uh, see what's happening, and we'll, uh, we'll go from that level here uh, in just a minute. So keep that in mind. I want to share with you, but uh, we've got a break coming up. I don't know how, how close we are to the break. Oh, we got 40 seconds, but what I'm going to do is give you a little prelude to what we're going to be looking at. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Hold on, Google. I want to bring something up from the past, boys and girls. This is from Richard Russell. Compliments of the Aiden Sisters. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks. This is a chart from the. This is a chart from the Aiden sisters. Hold on. I think the market must really be going because I just had an alert go on. Let's just take a quick look and see where we are here. Uh, where are we right now? I think that might have been it. Hold on. Let's see where we are here. Holy, holy moly, guacamole! Well, I can't see it. I'm not going to worry. Maybe it was gold or something else that might have been going on. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's take a look here. Uh, well, it looked like, yeah, look at the stock market. It's had a heck of a run here. We got all the way up here to uh, uh, 83. Wow, that's a pretty big run. So this is this is pretty good. You want to, we've got three hours to go, so it's got a pretty good chance that if it can get above, we're almost having an outside day, folks. Can you believe we have, that we should really look at this because we can learn from this? This is the ABCD pattern right here. This was just absolutely perfect. I I was very – there's a number right here. It was going down to this level, and it hadn't gotten to that level yet. That was around 1130. Uh, you can see 1890. Yeah, around 1130, 1030, 1130, and I uh, fell asleep at the wheel. <laughs> and sure enough, you can see what's happened here. We had a, a tremendous uh, – move here uh, to the upside so that's pretty good now this is a really good for the rest of the market now it's important that the s p which is coming up pretty good too let's get these straight here it's acting pretty good but you know not nearly as good as you can see what the dow jones is and the nasdaq is just not really doing too very well at all so we're still in a downtrend based on this now remember we've already taken this high out based on the dow jones but we have not done it in the overall stock market which is the s p and the nasdaq and we should look at the nasdaq here because that's been the leader of the pack all these years so we'll bring it up here and uh, we'll just do a 30 minute that'll give us a pretty guy pretty good idea where we are wow we just made new lows just a minute ago folks can you believe that we just make new lows, 
in the NASDAQ. Oh, my goodness. And the rest of the market has been rallying. Boy, uh, you know why? This is wrong. This is the March contract, this, which is not in March anymore. Sorry about that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, isn't it wonderful? Why we almost did make new lows just a minute ago. Look at that. We almost did. So wow, this is going to be interesting. Now the rally back today in the Nasdaq. We'll just look at it for you. I saw this earlier because I was watching this last night from the high that you made way back here on the 16th. This is three days ago. Where did you go to last night, folks? Right at the 382, and then you've come down. Stop and think, folks. You drop from 1750, you drop 300 handles in the NASDAQ, and the Dow Jones went up 300 points. So it's not the one you trade, it's the one that you're looking at. So make sure that when you're trading, trade the one you're looking at, not looking at the other one, because the Dow Jones is only 30 stocks. And this one is basically, you know, only 10 or 15, but these are the ones where the big players are. So the fact that this goes down so much is really a big deal. Now, we should check for kicks and giggles if there were any major uh, ABCD patterns. I know you guys like ABCD. So here's what we've been doing coming down here the whole way. Now, this is the key one. You see, because this is a three. This is your three-day rally between the 14th and the 17th. That's that three-day rally that we talked about. That's where it broke, broke again. So this is the one that you want to watch. So we measure it from your high. That was a three-day rally. So you go from this high right here down to this low right here because that was a lower low. And then you bring this up, and it should have gone to 17,200, and the low was... 17 182 not too bad this tells us that there's a really good chance here that this could be a major bottom but the close is the important thing today folks because the close is the important thing just because the dow jones is running doesn't mean uh, that the rest of them are going to have to do that so let's uh let's remind ourselves as we look at that that that's what uh, what is going to be happening okay so those are some of the things that we're paying attention to. We've got Norm Winsky coming up. We'll take a second here to review some of the good things that we have going on uh, for us here at uh, TFNN and our group here. We had a really nice setup here. If you'll remember here in the Christmas uh, December corn uh, was right there. We had that beautiful Gartley. We'll, I don't know, don't know why that one's not drawn in, but we'll do that right now. Came in right there. That we were buying it right there at 460. It now has a five cent profit. You now put your stop at your break even point, and then you're on your way. Okay, so that's what we're that's what we're watching. The one that was a little bit frustrating for us was this one right here. This was the uh, soybeans, the November beans that we wanted to buy. Getting those on the daily. Okay, you see, we were trying to buy them right here. They missed us by three cents. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we haven't uh, been able to get that one. Uh, the bean oil is doing okay, but uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But we had a pretty good run here. We've had a big outside day from yesterday, which is a good sign. We, you know, that's what we're watching. And if we look at this on that shorter term time frame, which we like to do, this is just like the bonds, folks. This is just exactly like the bonds. If this is your pattern, look at this. You got an A, B, C, D pattern right there that's what it is in the in the soybean so i'm just bringing that to your attention it may or may not work but we were trying to buy it just a little bit below here and then today with five o'clock in the morning it backed off but you know we were waiting for this level so there was nothing we could do about that uh, someone's had a question about tesla because i to ask about tesla every day i guess hold on a second here and i'll be happy to answer it for you if i can um, okay. Yeah, look at Tesla still coming down. We're getting closer to those numbers, folks. Let's get that daily up because I believe we had uh, getting down there pretty close. Oh, there's a uh, oh right at the seven eight six right now. Um, well, I still oh there's a little one right here. So this could be an important spot right here, folks. Let's get rid of these just because of that seven eight six. I I love those numbers so. Get this out of the way here. So what we're seeing in Tesla right now, let me get rid of this junk and this stuff here. Okay, there's, you see it's setting, oh boy, this is a, this is, well, 
if you got deep pockets, this is the one. Why can't this go up at the market up 300 points? You got a 1.618 expansion right here in Tesla. Okay, right there, 47, and you have a 786 retracement of this pattern right here. Look at that; they come together. It's going to end up there. within a heartbeat. So that's uh, and if you drew that in. And you did a little bit of study with the old Gartley book. That is called a Gartley pattern. A, B, C, D, in an uptrend. Okay, so that looks really interesting. That That's another reason to think that, yeah, maybe let's look at this intraday here because it's had to have some kind of rally. Nope, it's been going down. The rest of the market, uh, they don't care about us. The Dow Jones, it's been running the whole thing. So let's, uh, let's remind ourselves of what we're looking at uh, right here. Okay, I think those are the main things, and I think we have our wizard coming up here in just a minute in uh, uh, formerly of Frankfurt, Indiana, and now Terre Haute, Indiana, and now Naples, Florida. The wizard of Naples, Florida, Norm Winsky, will be talking to us about some astrology stuff. So we'll be right back, folks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, bear with us one second. We have Mr. Winsky. I think he's getting out of his Gulf Stream and getting ready to uh, come into the office. Let us know when you're there, Norman. I am here, Larry. Can you hear me? Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. April the 19th. All right, hopefully, a very good day. We, we had a little technical glitch there as I was signing on. I had a re-sign on, and I just got back. So hopefully you can see my notes. I, I can see it right there. Good. They look pretty good. Oh, all right. They're good. I didn't know if you could see that or not. Very good, yes, Larry. Great, uh, great to talk with you. Thanks for having me on your show. It's my pleasure, my okay. friend. Yes, sir. All right. That was funny. You that little introduction you gave me a little while ago with the uh, gave my whole life story there. We're all different places I've lived in. Right? Well, <laughs> you should see that my life story, the places I've lived in, it takes her thirty minutes. <laughs> you even, you remembered I I'm a Frankfurt hot dog, right? Oh gosh, yes, that's for sure. <laughs> all right. How, how, how are you, hey, Mark Norman? How are you handling this low volatility in the markets that we've had over these last few days? Oh, it's putting us to sleep. <laughs> Go ahead, my friend. Tell us what we're looking at here. All right. Well, when I was last on your show on April the 5th, that was a Friday, we had some interesting events coming up the following week. And uh, so I covered the three big events. We had the, uh, oh, yeah, I went on there because the main thing was because Monday afternoon, the 8th, you might have heard about this, we had a total solar eclipse. I think there was a little bit of coverage there on the media about that. <laughs> and so, and uh, there we had uh, financial. So anytime we, that's a special kind of new moon. You know, the moon is it's like a new moon where the moon is lined up so perfectly with the earth and the sun. It blo literally blocks uh, the sun from our point of view on here on earth. You know, right? So anyways, that, we, that's in the category of a new moon. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon or full moon. We look at financials, grain, specialist metals, and oil. And then the AC, that's PM, is afternoon, obviously. Then AC is overnight. You know, the planets, Larry, don't clock out at 5 o'clock. They're 24-7. You know, those crazy planets working all the time, you know? So yep. anyway, we had, we had Neptune to the U.S. chart that night, the night of the 10th. That's after the close. And so anytime we have something to the U.S. chart, that's the... U.S. natal chart, which is based on when our country was founded, July the 4th, 1776. We look at U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and the U.S. dollar. Then the morning of the 15th, we had by Helio, that's from the point of view of the sun, we had Jupiter lining up with Uranus in the sign of Taurus, the bull. And so we have major, we'll be looking for possible major change in trend for cattle, copper, and cotton. So now we're going to look at the charts. Here's uh, the corn. It dances, the, the grains dance to the moon. So we'll be looking the afternoon of the 8th. And you can see there you made a little bit of a short term top there on the corn. Uh, same thing on the soybeans. Even better, on, even more pronounced on the wheat. Okay, here's cattle that we're going to be looking now at our Jupiter Uranus point there, the morning of the 15th. And you can see you just missed that bottom there. We allow one day either way, and so that's a valid buy there. And you can see that the cattle start moving higher, Larry. Moving uh, higher. Hmm. Yes, sir. There you go. I hope I don't didn't give you a bump steer there. All right, here's oh, the boy. cotton. It's going down, down, down. That did not work. That's a red arrow for a miss. Green arrow is good. That means we might have had a chance to make some money. Here's crude oil just off of that top there. So you had a little... A short-term top there for a couple of handles. Uh, as you know, that's a couple thousand dollars. Yes, sir. And, and then we had copper. Yeah, a little short-term top there on the copper. And it doesn't look like much, but copper, as you know, Larry, is a beast. It'll repenny is $250, and it often will move 5 to $0.10 cents in a day. So 
That's like from 37 down to 30. Wow, that's even more than I thought it was. If you sold there at about 37, 437, and it drops to, I suppose that might be 10 cents, or you know, which is that'd be $2,500 if that's right. Anyway, the, uh, un- it had an unusual period here where uh, my one of my higher confidence markets are the precious metals, silver and gold. And the what? silver, oh, don't don't call your friend Mary, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mary would not be happy. It didn't work on the silver, and it didn't work on the gold. We had the just the solar clips there, and they didn't care. You know, there you go. Uh, S and P rallied to uh, into the moon there, and the solar eclipse, and then you made a made it just a little bit higher the next day, and then a nice drop. I think that was quite a few handles there. It's, uh, I think it looks just off the top of my head, it looks like about 80 handles there. That's pretty good. And then it was whippy choppy and trying to hard, kind of hard to figure out what we were doing. So I got the yellow box there for a pass, you know, sideways or confusing market. We just take a pass. Here's the T-bonds obviously dropping into our solar eclipse point there. And then you had a nice little short-term pop there. And then our U.S. point there uh, overnight into the 11th. Uh, we made a little short-term low there. Here's the dollar. We went 50-50 on the dollar. Uh, the solar eclipse was a nice low there. Big pop-up after, after the solar eclipse. And then that's a miss there. The a couple of the currencies were pretty good. Here's the Aussie dollar on the solar eclipse. It went a little bit higher the next day, and then a big drop. Uh, the British pound going sideways, so we took a pass. Here's your euro. It went just like, but kind of like uh, the Aussie there. Kind of went a little bit higher the next day, and then a big drop. And so if you add up the green arrows and red arrows, you got 12 winners, four misses out of 16. For 75% winners. Okay, so here's what's coming up in the coming week. AC is after the close. This is a Friday. We're on Friday the 19th. And so this weekend, over into Monday, we have uh, uh, these. This is one of my top things. When the planets get to zero latitude as they go around the sun, they also oscillate up and down. And when they get to the e- e- middle point there, that's zero latitude. That's a big energy point, and often. Turn, it brings a change in trend to the market. Uh, even There's even some bigger ramifications for that, but we'll do that on another day. So anyway, here we have a grain, mercury is grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. Then we also have, this is, a, a, we've been, we're in this uh, period now where we have several uh, relatives of this, you know. Uh, <laughs> this time we have the geocentric Jupiter conjunct, you know, lining up with Uranus okay. in Taurus. Hey. Time out, time out, time out. Tell the oh. folks the difference between geocentric and heliocentric. Okay, geocentric is uh, from the point of view of the Earth. It's from Latin. Geo is Latin for Earth. And uh, this, uh, the astrology has lots of different foreign languages. And then we have helio. That's from Greek for the sun. So if it says helio, that's from the point of view of the sun. Nice okay. place we- to visit, but you want to want, want live there. It's a little too hot there. Hey, Norm, we exactly. have to take it. We have to take a break here, because we got to pay some bills, and we're gonna. You're giving us a lot of good information, so stay tuned, folks. We got Nostradamus in the house. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back, folks, with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends in Naples, Florida. Please continue, my friend. Yes, sir. So when we went off to the commercial there, we were talking about that Jupiter was aligning with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. The Jupiter-Uranus cycle is a 13-year cycle. Uh, you familiar with the Bradley? Some of your folks, and I know you are, Larry, with the Bradley yes. book. And in the middle of the book there was what's what caught my attention when I stumbled on that book back in 1971, I think it was. And uh, he talked about Jupiter and Uranus were the base or the uh, key to this stock market. And he showed how the different angles of Jupiter and Uranus correlated with the ups and downs of the stock market over several decades. And that's what caught my interest. And that's what uh, and I bought the book for. Well, I, <laughs> the book was originally marked a dollar. They struck that out, Larry, and marked it down to ten cents. And I decided <laughs> I could afford. I decided hey, I could afford that, and that book changed hey, my life. You know, that's that's what yeah. led to my being on your show today. Hey, you know? Norm, Norm, re re regarding yeah. books, do you, do you remember thirty-five years ago? It was eighty-five, eighty-six. There was a book going out that uh, you and I were searching out by George Bear called the Ega Columbus, and it was for sale oh, for yeah. twenty-five thousand dollars. Remember exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I guess some people bought it. It was a 17-page pamphlet. You know, later on, you know, I met uh, his daughter. You know, she was in a nursing home in Monterey. And the guy that was running the nursing home's pharmacy was my good friend, Jack Fellini. And when I was telling him at dinner one night, I said, this, I'm doing this mercury, mercury with Mercury and uh, George Bear. He said, we got a lady in the house or in the nursing home named Bear. And so I said, it wouldn't be the same one. I said, well, go ask her. The next day, by golly, it was his father, her father. We went up to visit her. Uh, Bryce Gilmore came over. Um, and uh, she was uh, really a nice person and everything. And she had some really cool pictures of J.P. Morgan and Betta, Betta Million Gates and a bunch of the old timers that his father had taken picture of because he had a real car that took him from Monterey to the Chicago stockyards where he you know, spent the uh, – the summer months and the winter, of course, he was in there. And I'm taking your time, Norm. I'll shut up. Go ahead, my friend. Please keep going. I just want to mention what, what are the odds are you're finding her, Larry? You know, like oh, you know, just through a I, just like winning like, Kentucky Derby or the or the, or the uh, Super Bowl, even money. Uh, you know, yeah, things jump right. some, things jump into your lap. You know, that was a one in a million, right? Yeah. Well, it's got to be close to that for sure. 
Anyway, so uh, we have Jupiter and Uranus lining up in Taurus from Geo, from the point of view of the Earth. And uh, shortly, you know, we had the Helio version back in March. I came on your show and talked about that. And a few days later, that was March 21. Both the, yeah, both the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones, at least as of last night, uh, Dow's going up today, but it's probably not there. But March 21 has been the highest so far for those two markets. s p did go a little higher uh, from there. But, uh, you know, right around that Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, that was uh, that was a high back in March. But anyway, so now we have the cattle, cotton, copper. Obviously, Taurus the bull is cattle, also cotton, and Uranus is copper. And so that's what we kind of got coming up. This is all on Monday. Uh, you know, so like you were saying on your show earlier, Larry, if, uh, you know, we might be setting up here for a really good uh, low here on Monday, right? Isn't that, isn't that what you were saying? Uh, well, it could be. Yeah, well, I, 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 I'm taking a guess like everybody else, Norm. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> okay. Well, if I, I think if we go down again today, we close mm -hmm. down today, and especially if we close near the lows, which that'll be difficult to do because of last night's craziness. Uh, but if we get a good whacking here, and then we'll be nice, have five days down on the S&P, and you got uh, these two big uh, change of trend points. Unless these two are going to cancel each other out, I think we got a, a situation for a possible uh, good, uh, possible turn on Monday. You know, for a low. All right, moving ahead. The afternoon of the 22nd, Jupiter's going to line up with the U.S. chart, stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar. Uh, the morning of the 23rd, so that's pretty close to that. Another U.S. point, so we got like a double U.S. window there. And then the night of the 23rd, we have a full moon in the sign of Scorpio. The time we have full moon, new moon. Look at financials, grains, precious metals, oil. And because it's in Scorpio, we're going to be running a special on cocoa, hogs, T-bonds. I should have put a chart of the cocoa in there. Cocoa, oh, as you know, Larry, has gone... Uh, I, I bit my tongue there. I almost used a, a, a word, but let's just say it's gone totally crazy, right? This is true, Norm. Yeah, I mean, uh, the old, I went and researched it before the, to this year. The high in cocoa was at 47, what was that, dollars or whatever? 47, uh, back at, yeah, $47. Uh, back pound, in yeah. 1977, 78, it never even got close to there for decades. And this year, though, I don't know, they got some problem there in, in Ghana, wherever yeah, they yeah. grow the cocoa. And it's, uh, you know, here today in Ghana tomorrow, right, I guess. So the cocoa went to, <laughs> it's like triple the old high now, you know. Yeah, hit $10,000. Uh, yeah. And that, that's, from what I understand, it's hurt Hershey because they did not uh, do any uh, hedging. And so the price of the chocolate is going to go through the roof here to people that like chocolate, so. I have yeah, to pay close attention to that one. That's definitely going to hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it very much, for sure. Hey, Tr Norm, we've got a question from one of uh, one of the listeners here. What what is the what do you think is the best opportunity right now for a trading opportunity here, uh, looking at these markets? Well, 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 just follow the system, as I showed right. you back here. Yeah, but but he you don't have the system, Norman. He's asking you on the air here. What do you like today? I mean, what are you going to go to? What are you going to order at the restaurant today? If you're going to, what's it going to be? Uh, you're not going to trade cocoa, I'm sure. I'm not doing anything today. I'm going to wait till Monday. Uh, that's what. I'm waiting okay. till next week. We got a big window here. Follow the timing. Mm -hmm. Timing. Time is more important than price. That's what okay. Mr. Gann said. Gann. Most people, many people think Mr. Gann was the greatest market technician of the 20th century. He said time is more important than price. You got to follow the timing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Look at the price patterns in relation to the time. That's where it's at. Yeah, if, the, yeah. if this person would like to call me, I'd be happy to talk to him. So okay. we got cocoa, hogs, and tea bonds. Uh, then we have the uh, new moon to the U.S. chart. To U.S. chart, stocks, tea bonds, U.S. dollar, and then the night of the that's night of the twenty fourth. That's a that's a weekend. Yep, and then, I think that's a weekend. No, no, that's not a weekend. I, I take that back. That's a Wednesday night. And then that same night, we have, oh, here you go, Larry, you like this. Mercury in there, it turns direct. Mercury's turning direct. It's retrograde now. Going to turn direct. That's the opposite of retrograde. Uh, and that Mercury will be turning for corn, soybean, sweet, uh, the night of the 24th. So, any questions? Any questions from the uh, Tiger Den there? 
No, I think that's pretty good. Uh, tell the folks how they can reach you, Norm. Okay, let me just uh, go over quickly who I am. If you don't know, already know. I've been doing this uh, almost uh, as long as Larry, about 50 years or more. And I, I was on the uh, Chicago Ex CBOE for about 12 years. Did a little stint at the Chicago Board of Trade. And uh, studied all these different methodologies. Gan, Elliott Way, physics, astrology. Oh, okay. And we got to go, buddy. Listen, thanks for joining us, Norm. We'll have you on oh, again soon, okay? Wait, wait, wait. I did get to tell my contact info. Uh, post, Are we out of time? Post it, post it there. Just post it there and people see it, and I'll repeat it when right. I come on you back, okay? All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. You bet. Norm Winsky, folks, Astro 10. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, bear with me one second here. I'm going to get up a chart here. Someone's asked a question about one of our all-time favorites, which happens to be Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Let's take a quick look at this. By the way, if you're interested, uh, there may be a turn coming here in the Dow Jones here very, very shortly, folks, right up at this level here. It says it should be heading down right now. It's off by a little bit, but uh, we'll find out. Anyway, let's move on here, get this out of the way, and bring Mr. Appel up. Uh, I don't know if it's been hit like everything else. It's a Dow stock, so it should be a, a lot stronger than anybody else. And uh, hold on, let's get the daily up here. I think we shattered that uh, 167 by a long shot, and we are 
uh, breaking down. And uh, there was the 382. We are headed down. Uh, if you remember on the long-term daily, we had a, a pattern down here at the 57 level. There was the 382 the other day. Remember, we pointed that out to you. Had that really strong rally because of something happened with China. We went from the high to the low. There was the exact 382, and now we're we're still heading down. And the only thing that's going up is the stock market in the Dow Jones. The others are still. We're actually sitting right at the 61% uh, retracement here in the uh, in the. Uh, You'll notice right here, this is 61% uh, of the range right here. So this is important. We can close up in here. Okay, we close down in here, folks, below 5,000 in the Dow, in the s and I don't care where the Dow is. If you close below 5,000 in this thing, you don't have anything to do with it. That's uh, my two cents worth, and I am sticking to it. So keep that in mind as we look at some of these things. Remember, these, these markets... They uh, they move around very very rapidly and they can cause you a great deal. Look at look at the uh, look at the action in gold today, folks. Look at this look at this bullish action we've had in gold, and yet it says we should be heading down. All gold did today was make a 61 percent retracement of the high we made yesterday on the 18th. That's all that was exactly to the number. You can see it right there. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side on Monday. And our guest on Tuesday is going to be Peter Elides. We got Bill Meridian on the 25th. That's his birthday. And uh, we have, uh, I don't know who, the, who it is on Wednesday, but we'll find someone. <laughs> Talk to you later, folks. May God bless.